Well, that was an interesting read. I want to read something that has adults as the main characters, but not like those kinds of books. Well now, you don't have to. We're doing this again? Are you still waiting for the next chapter of your favorite manga, right? Well, yeah, but this doesn't make sense. Waiting on One Piece? Hajime no Ippo? The story of an one stand who wants to keep a high school boy? Wait, what? Well, it is. I'm Rodrigo Sanchez, and this is Random Recommendations. You still didn't change the name? Well, what do you got then? Ran Rec? Yeah, that's what I thought. Keiichi Oda, your average salary man. Fun fact, we didn't know his name until chapter 4. It all started one rainy morning where Oda is on his way back to work. He took some cover next to an apartment window and that's where everything changed. The window opens up and a lady pops out the smoke. She notices him and quickly slams the window on him. Before he could say anything, she sticks a note to the window. Suddenly, the window opens again and Madoka dramatically changes her room into a food stand. Well, it is important to have breakfast. It's better than what I got. Oda doesn't have a choice but to go along and orders tuna sushi. Turns out, it was better than he expected. Even better than restaurants. Madoka doesn't say anything, but her expression says it all. She's like Komi-san, but more spontaneous and easier to read. He decides to order another item, and he realizes the rain finally stopped. He forgot he's late for work and needs to take off. Madoka hands him a bill before it's too late. She will get her money one way or another. Turns out, it was a total of 432 yen, or roughly $4, or 2,939 Malawian kwacha. Okay. And that is the end of chapter 1. Now, it's all up to you. I know what you're thinking. That's it? Each chapter averages about 10 pages. Every chapter is unique with those two characters, and with over 70 chapters, you would think Madoka would redo something. From food stands, carnival games, and at one point, a water ballet presentation, all in that room. Every day is something new with Madoka-chan, always at a cheap price. I enjoyed reading this as I kept flying through chapters. Five volumes of a nice story of every Japanese custom being crammed into one small room with a window large enough to have a conversation with a random stranger. Also worth noting that it's a good thing that a beautiful woman is doing these things. I don't think the manga would make money if it was a guy version of Madoka. Hey! Want some candy? And with that, I'm your narrator, Rodrigo Sanchez. Please support the official release and don't forget to subscribe.